Boop, boop, boop. Hey guys, it's Warm Connell 007 and welcome back to PvP School. Today we're going to show you how to rally from scratch, okay? Um, the end goal is to get UPs like this. Um, just to explain, this is 7 times 40 This is the highest UPs that you can get on any Lumion. Um, that said, um, I'm going to explain to you exactly what you need to do. Um, 7 times 40 isn't always what you need. Um, 6 times 40 is probably what you need on most cases. Um, if you look at Scorb, for example, we looked at personalities in the previous one. We know Scorb is a special attacker or a ranged attacker, um, which means that we don't really need to look at melee or physical attacking. Um, so in this case, if we did a 6 times 40 Scorb, we do not care what that melee attack is, whether it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. Do not care. We need 40s on every other single one, okay? So last time what we did is we looked at um, this, the league table, okay? And we looked at personalities. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a quick refresh. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build. Um, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I need this up. Um, it's just to say not to click over on for me, which is perfect. It's exactly what we need. Not. Um, so. So as you, as you can see in the personalities, these are really important okay, for what we want to build. Um, what we're going to build is we want to build a tat tab. Okay? We looked at tat tab's um, table last time and we discovered that um, tat tab is a, a fast physical attacker. So if we look at fast, we look at speed, we're going to go for nimble. Okay, So in rally, if you do the tournament, you can have two positive and one very negative. Or what you can do is you can have one very positive and two negatives. So in this case, what we want is we're gonna go for two positives and one negative, okay? So we want two positives, so we want speed, so we need nipple, okay? We want uh, melee attack, which, so we need brawny, okay? Um, we, we are gonna get a drop, so we need a drop on ranged attack, because we're not really gonna use that. So we're gonna have that as um, comes in, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, so we're gonna, that's how we're going to build it. Nimble, brawny, and the drop on the range attack because we're not going to really focus on the range attack just for this exercise. Okay, so if we go in, uh, just to double check, if we go into here and you don't remember our Tatav's base stats, what we do is we go to um, training. If you look here, it's range attack is 126 and the speed is 104. Um, in this Tatav that I have here, you'll see these um, red UPs. They have been sharded, okay? Do you know when you beat a corrupt and go, you get a shard? They have been sharded. So if I breed that, those 40s will actually not continue on. Um, in this case as well, um, I've actually invested in my range attack, okay? But with this one, it is just pure nimble, okay? I'm just gonna show you, for an example, what it would look like for a brawny nimble. That's what we're gonna do. Things that you can do uh, before you even start um, you can look and see your personalities and use the search bar. Um, so if I went to Brawny here, add Brawny. Ah, why do you not want to do that? That's a species, duh. Right, um, let's see what else. Um, personality is only, okay. So I'm gonna see if I've got any pure Brawnies. If you've got a pure Brawny, this is gonna save you time. Because my tat tab is pure nimble. Okay. So if I go down, or if I had anything that is brawny and nimble, so actually that's a good idea. So let's have a look. So let's see. So this is what I would start with is um, add brawny and nimble. Okay, so search. So you click here, Ikazune. He's pure nimble. Um, if you can, and I don't want to use the trainer ones because that's. Check these guys. Okay, brawny. Okay, now, if you first thing you want to do is you want to use a dusket. Oh, beautiful, uh, Ekazune or um, a Protogon uh, as your assistant. What they will always have is a at least at least um, three times forty. Um, in the stats, just gonna check here and just see. So he's pure brawny. Oh, have you got better? Nope, he's 340s. So the ones I have is 440s. Dull nimble. Wow, he's five times 40. Whoa, we're, we're taking you right home. So my bra. Da, da, da. Ideally, I probably would have gone brawny for it, but those UPs cannot be misjudged. One, two, actually, four times. Wow, wait, come here. I need to borrow you as well. I'll take you. One, two, three times forty. Nope. And your finish number. One, two, three. Okay. So 
you're pure nimble. UP three times. Okay. So what we what we do is first of all get the whatever you're breeding. Okay, so in this case it's gonna be Tatab, okay. My Tatab doesn't really have any 40s because they're all sharded, okay? So consider that as no, okay? My Tatab is nimble in this case, so if he was nimble or brawny. This one has the good UP, so we're gonna hang tight on him, but he's brawny. So what I wanna do first of all is sort out my personality, okay? So down on the toys, they, they are the personality. So Rally Lumions that share personality trait with the Rally Leader or Assistant. So it'll just pull that out. Um, rally Bouncy Ball is related to one that the Rally Leader has, which is Nimble in this case. Rally Lumions that share a positive trait with the Rally Assistant, okay? So we'll want that because that'll be a lot easier. And Yo-Yo is exactly the same. So if I did have Brawny Nimble, well then I want that exactly the same as that, okay? And we're gonna use the, the Totem. In this case, um, just out of curiosity, because I've got a single, he's brawny. No, I'll just come out pure nimble then. But then the drop won't come in. Ooh. Yeah, we'll just use, we'll use the puzzle cube. Okay, so what we want to do then is we'll just hang tight. So you can use any sort of Lumion in there. Ideally, what you want to do to save yourself loads of time is get your hands on a six times 40 or seven times 40 with the right personality. So for example, if you have a friend who has um, been rallying Feevines all day long um, and he's you know he's got his perfect one, that because the way breeding works, they will have some breed jacks or rally jacks. Um, so it is definitely worthwhile, definitely worthwhile to get your hands on the those bad boys. Um, as we as we wait on him, um, you can sit here and you could be stand still, and um, he'll still be rallying throughout. Um, if you have two lumens of the same type, it will speed it up. But what we need to do is we need to start passing on better UPs. Um, hence why we've looked at it. Uh, again, do take time to go through your um, your PCs. Um, and when you're starting off from scratch, again, dusk it. It gives you a protocol because they're going to have at least three times forty. In this case, I put in a four times forty. Because you need with brawny, then what we'll do is eventually we'll put in the five times forty. Because what happens is with the, the current two D fruit that we have in, it will pass over three. Um, what you also want to do before you even start rallying is you want to make sure you're at least level thirty nine, um, and then on your mastery because then you get the yo yo. So this is a bit of a long process, but if you have to do like mastery quests or you have to do. Um, you want to go gleam hunting or whatever it might be um, it's definitely worthwhile to, to make sure that you can do something while time passes um, other things you might want to have let me see key, key items um, the rally charm um, so this charm increases the number of lumens that can be rallied at the rally branch and allows you to rally your lumens faster if you're looking to contend it's, it's worth it um, if you want to spend robux it is worth it uh, so here we go, first one out, first one out of, fresh out of the oven. Okay, so we've got Fever. So, brawny, perfect, we need a brawny, okay. But when, there's no nimble there, okay. As you can see, it's robust and very foolish. So if we look at him, and now we have two times 40, okay. So what we're going to do is, we're going to leave him there, and we're going to see what the other ones come out of. In the meantime, what we'll do is let's go around in circles and see how quick we can hit up. What do you say? It'll be like the ninth one out. <laughs> Always the way. Come on, dudes. Get some feedbacks. But yeah, rallying is really, really important because if you don't have. If your opponent has better UPs than you, okay, so 40 is max. So what you want to do is give yourself the best potential to win any game. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like playing sports. You know, you see, I'll use a random example. Golf, okay. If you could have a golf club that hits as hard as possible, and as accurate as possible, well, surely you would want that golf club compared to something that's 
not as good. Really bad analogy, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is what we want to do. We want to make sure we're getting the best chance. Now UPs, you need them to be a 40. But then say for example, you've got all 40s and you've got the wrong personality. Well, you're going to get toasted. There's no way to dress it up. You are going to get beat. Okay, let's look. Okay, brawny, again, clever, sluggish, one, two, three times 40. Okay, so we've got three times 40 on that. Now what we could do is we could take him. So, let's see, if we keep him, right. Ooh, I made a mistake. So this is a big thing. See here, whenever you're breeding, make sure your PC box is on an empty box so you know which one's which. So we just see. So we've got three times forty. We know two, three is only going to pass on to it, but we'll see what I have. Oh, we've also made another one. My word. Well, that's the, the original one, isn't it? Okay, so we'll release him for a second. What we're going to do is we're going to then take our feedback, which is three times forty, and we're going to pass it into the assistant. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use a positive trait instead of. So we had it as the assistant positive trait, which is the brownie. We're now going to take the nimble, so we're now going to look at try and get the nimble under the fee bank. Okay, let's go. Toss the fact that now we have a three times forty fee vein in with a tap tab because they're the same species, they should rally quicker. So we've got the brawny and the assistant. We know our tap tab is our leader is nimble. We're now changed the toy to have a positive trait from the leader. So this should, in theory, help us out. It should pass the nimble on. Now, if it becomes nimble and something else, well that's fine. What we'll then find is whatever comes out is now going to have better UPs than the tat tab. Because essentially the tat tab doesn't have any 40s that are natural. They're all sharded, so they'll never pass on. Come on, little rancher. I'm loving the new mounts, by the way. They are awesome. And again, just taking his time here. You can pay for the boost for the double steps, or you can just do it, as you can see. Um, just really depends on how much time you guys want to deal with. So let's check this dude out. Brawny, nimble. Perfecto. So we moved the brawny over. This guy's two times 40. So we now have, as you can see guys, we've now got the pers perfect personality. Okay, so brawny, nimble, and we've got the perfect drop, the very clumsy. Perfect, okay, so we'll keep him. And then what happens is we go to your box. We now bring him out okay we don't need the four times because you need but we need the five and you'll see why in a second so he's the one two three four so you can go in the box we don't need you anymore because we're only using you for your personality um, okay perfect okay now now we have the perfect personality what we do is we go to our rancher we put the perfect personality in as our leader and then at the bottom, we hit the yo-yo, okay? So basically, we want this personality. This guy at the moment has two times 40, okay? This guy has five times 40, okay? And the good thing is, the 40s that the Kazuni have, they also are on speed, and they're also on a melee attack, which is what we need. So let's let's see what this produces. Um, should we, we've got rally rate up? That's okay. So say for example that came through as brawny, nimble, and let's say um, very robust, which is a drop in melee defense. 
what you do is you just keep going, keep waiting because the positive should be coming through. What you're then aiming for is to get the right very negative, um, which you get the batch. I just touched, I just touched lucky on that one. So again, just takes a wee bit of time. So we've got the personality. Obviously for Tata, -ta, you could run very nimble or you could run very brawny and then have two drops with this garden to them. Um, in this case, we're just gonna go through it this way and see what we come up with. There's a big upside when you're doing rallies because you can have three personalities. So you can have two positives. Um, when you're catching them, you can only have one positive or you can have so like a single personality or you can have one positive with a negative you'll never catch anything with three personalities in the wild so this is why rallying is really important so the thing is whenever you rally it, it is a process guys there's you and you need to follow this process so so far what we've done is we took um a roamer we put it in as our system to start off with just for the ups uh, that did help with the right personality um, we took our time to go through the personalities whenever um, we were starting up, we got the right personality. We then put the yo-yo in, which means we hold that personality, and now, we, now we're focusing on the UPs, okay? So, as you can see, personality's held. UPs, we now have one, two, three, three times 40. So what we now wanna do is we wanna keep him, and we're now gonna put that into our, set, our leader, because our leader at the moment is only two times 40. This guy is better, so what we do is we take him out, we put him in as our leader so swap you to here so again with the feed how the 2d fruit works rally lumions that share at least three unique rally points with each lumion so I'm pulling three from him three from him and then one will be random okay so let's see how we get on now so our, our rally leader has perfect personality. We're now focusing on the UPs. So sort of the personality, use the roamer, which which has held at least three times 40 or more. And you'll see this every single time. Um, in this case, I've got Nikazoon, which has five times 40, um, which is perfect. Um, you might have a, a roamer that has four or five, potentially even six um, times 40. If you have a seven times 40 roamer, matching the odds um, but that's what you have but again if they are sharded you they do not carry over they just don't work for rallying otherwise they would have came out a lot better when we have my tat tab in there so do not think that shards carry over they do not if I'm on timer I could rally it up Again, if I can get both of them in, so with my Ikazoon and, and Feefine, right now, because Ikazoon is 5 times 40, I should be able to get Feefine up to 5 times 40. And then what I want to do is run two Feefines, and then it's just down to luck of the odds of the random to hit another 40 in the space, and then we build on from there. You could, arguably you could just run it, where you've just got the 40 in your speed and 40 in your attack. The only thing is you're, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage compared to the other players. To get a secret ability, you can't catch in the wild. Um, you can obviously breed them as well, so it's always worth looking at it. And you can also get Alpha Gleemans from the Rally Ranch. So it's all, you know, whenever they come out, it is worthwhile to have a look at every single one that comes out. Come on, dude. Strip me a feed line out, and here we go. What have you got for me? What have you got? Again, personality's held because of the yo-yo. One, two, three, four, boom. Right, we're improving. So again, rinse and repeat. Okay, let's throw these two in. They're now, basically they're majects. Okay, don't need these two, right. Okay, 
Okay, you come out and you go in. So my five is now four times forty. Still got me because you know he's five times forty. Uh, don't actually need these guys anymore. So I'm gonna say see you later. That's okay. Goodbye. So for example if you're rallying if you're letting him this guy get up to nine and then you're putting him into a mixed box again and we'll split across two or three different boxes and it's an absolute pain. It's a lot easier you just keep it in one box. Shaman What you got for me? Four times forty feet van run. So big thing is guys no say oh there's Bentley. Um whenever rallying Again, it's a process, so at the you, you could go through this at the start, or you can go away and just batch it and do it. In this case, you know it's obviously about control. If you have now seven times a seven times forty partner in with like a three or four, you could just go and leave for a while. Um, but we, I want to try and get the process of controlling it because we want to make sure we're giving ourselves the best UPs each time and the best chance. But I wanted to show you from start to finish because I know I um I share a lot on Twitter. You know, the UPs coming out with secret abilities and things like that. Um, and you guys are like just high, high, high. Because what you want to do is get your UPs in place, and then if you are looking for a secret ability, um, have it that you have two perfect minions in. Worst case scenario, then if you know you are getting a secret ability, you, you might have to shard one stat. Okay, last time was four. What are we up to? One, two, three, four, okay. You're no good to me. See you later. We want to be hitting a five here. And then once we hit a five, what we're going to do is we're going to take Ikazuni out. The good thing is, with this video, I'll show you how long it'll take you to get to them. Again, I cannot emphasize if you can pick up a 7x40 in trade, just fire it in as your rally assistant all day long and then sort your personality out, you're laughing. Because um, what you'll do is then you'll keep doing this process, but you'll never move the 7x40. And it will save you so much time. Put me up by five times forty, my friend. Also, you know this guy gives you the mounts, the new mounts are there, the Tyrex, Dyborg, and so on. <laughs> Good morning, man. So we need to just wait and see here. Spit me up a feline again. Could end up being four again, but hopefully it's five. Okay, so let's click on them. Again, personalities held. One, two, three, four. Okay. Not a five, so we'll keep going until we hit the five. Just gonna double check because you need his five. I'm pretty certain it is. One, two, three, four, five. Yep.
So why would they doubt? I'll go and get some encounters. Go for a bit of a walk rather than looking at them every single time. At this stage, whenever this video is, we've just got, I'll say, this ride out. Um, waiting for the next update, which is only a couple of days away. Which is good. Let's jump back to order. Um, with the new Lumians, it's good because it means that you can rally new ones. Um, I'm in the middle. So I've obviously done Scorb. I've finished Scorb. i finished. Um, Poochrel, um, pretty much finished Ollie Raptor, or Oprah Raptor, oh, I keep saying Ollie Raptor, Opera, Opera Raptor, Operator, Operator, Opera Raptor. Now I'm finished with import. I need to do John Pactor and I'm pretty much finished on Brooch. Okay, so. Let's see if we'll go back. And I love this geo hop feature. Because you could be sitting anywhere you want and then you can just bang geo hop back to Rally Ranch. So we need a five. Okay. What have you got for me? V vein. And then we've got a three. Boosh. Going backwards. Again, if I wanted to speed up this process, I could just take a six or a seven and throw it in. But we want to do it properly. We'll see how long it takes. I want to do it from scratch. So, what we'll do in the meantime is we'll go, uh, go kill some scorps. Get some items. Just by these rallying. My stairs are so annoying. Just jump over them. <laughs> Do you want to keep, keep hitting caps instead of shift or something? Once you see, once you get one seven times forty. It will save you hours. It will save you hours and hours and hours. Who's in the front? That's good, try. What we'll do is we'll encounter a few scorps and then we'll, we'll go back to the ranch. Just checking. Can you imagine I didn't actually hit record on this? And I've been doing this the whole time. Or my audio was too high. I'd be fuming. <laughs> See what I tend to do whenever I'm rallying or I'm TP training. Um, what I do is I usually like, I'll go in the other streams. Um, I'll turn my Roblox volume down. I'll just go up there, see up there. And go to settings and I'll turn my, my audio down. And then what I do is just sit and listen to YouTube videos or listen to streams all day long. So I'm actually, I know it's a process that does take time just entertains me. And what I could do is go gleam hunting. Okay, let's see. Go for two more of these and then we'll go back to the ranch. So ideally if we can hit the five, that's good. But then if not, I'm gonna show you how we can fill the void, okay? So if we come and we see another three or four, if it doesn't hit the five, I'm gonna show you a better way of now getting better UPs, okay? So let's take it through, let's get out of here. Go 
but when you get to about four there is another method that you can do so i'll show you through so if we go through and we go to the rally ranch and again i'll do it without just using one of my my rejects i'll show you a way around it okay so we've got two here One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. So release him. He's got four. We're going to keep him for a minute. So that's what we're going to do. Right, speak to our answer. Okay, give me him. So Ikazune has drop on energy and ranged attack. Okay. Energy and ranged attack. Now, this is where we'll get smart. So this dude, energy and ranged attack, okay, so if I keep him on Ikazuna, the only thing he's potentially going to pull off now, away from him, is the, the melee attack. Check this dude. So he's now got the melee attack. But he doesn't have the speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these two in, rather than Ikazuna. Because what's going to happen is... a take three across from each but the rate the speed rate should increase now the other option what we could do so what are they both missing on energy energy and what was the other one energy drop and speed and then he has the speed so these two should go faster, so we should get, we want that speed to carry across. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to use one to get rid of the other gap. The other thing I could do is if I go and get somebody who has energy and speed, which if I go back again to my rumors, let me check this guy, the brawny one. No, he's got 40. So if I go down here and just use my rumors, for example, 40 on energy and 40 on speed. So he's got 40 energy. I could do it that way, or I can let my rally guys just work it out. Either way. So he's got energy and speed. Which one is that? Here, okay, so let's put him in. Let's put these guys back. So we'll let those guys work it out, first of all, um, and then see what comes up with, if the energy or the speed sticks, and then if needs be, we can then work it through by using someone else that's going to balance, because it's now at the stage that it's going to do 3 times 40 on each of them. So this is where, see if you have 7 times 40 in, it's going to pull at least 3 stats from that, and then it's going to add to the other one. So it's a bit of a process. But I would rather, again, I would rather show you how to do it properly. And then once you get your seven times 40, it's your assistant forever. Once you sort your personality out, basically. So with this update, if you're killing time, just kill score still drop items. You need items for the moves, the evolutions, and so on. Kill two more, and then we'll go back. because obviously we're probably going to encounter anyway. So 
So we're now at that process where we're just repeating, 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 repeating to try and get that end result. So you'll do one of two things. You'll then hit, say for example, the five UPs we're focused on, right? And then you can have two of the feedbacks, both the same doing it. And then you're just hoping to get the random 40. Or again, if you just had a seven times 40, it's just gonna save you so much time. But you have to get one to begin with. So either trade or you go through this process. Okay, so we've got two here. Energy and speed were our drops. Okay, if you remember. Okay. Three times 40 trash. So we've now got speed on him. Three times 40 trash again. So what we want is we want them to hit for all of them. Let's hang about for this one. I'll give it two more goals and if needs be we'll then put the Akazuni in. Which has got the 40s on the imbalances. And that's a process of just time to let it hit. The only thing is though, because it's not the fee vine, it's going to take longer. Okay, let's go. What have we got from it? Oh, and look, we've got a secret ability. Thrive and pace. UPs, so we've got 3 times 40, we've got health, defense, special defense. Um, and these guys just pop out. How oh, you know it's a secret ability is this here, we ask here, as you can see. Um, keep that, I'll give it to somebody. For me, it's too many shards, it's trash. I've already got, I'm pretty sure I do have a. Um, Secret ability already. So this one helps this one. Yeah, I've got secret ability. Um it needs shorted just on energy. Again, come through. So this is why you want to make sure that your lumens are seven, both seven times forty before you secret ability hunt, because otherwise you're going to get trash UPs. We're gonna stick the acres in here. Just need to make sure they complement each other. Energy attack speed, energy attack speed. He needs energy and attack. Okay, perfect. So what we need to do ideally is we want these to hang on these 40s to hang on and then what we want is it gives you these obviously to, to help out on energy attack and speed so energy and attack is what it needs speed hopefully the three of them carry over the problem is it could be the three terrible stats that carry over so what we'll do is we'll go hunt again Well, go back to, yeah, we'll just go to separate. Right? Again, for the video, I'm just putting a rally rate on, guys. It might take a bit longer for you guys, but, so the first one's always, the first one always takes the longest. Always takes the longest. Tell you what, just while we're doing that, we might as well just go for a hunt. Let's go for um, a 
Should we go for a triangle protocol? Okay, well, we'll go to right set. Go to right seven. What we want to do is one of that those we'll let them batch up because at the moment what we're doing is we're looking at every single one that's coming out it's taking its time so go for it we'll go for a corrupted go for a 10 minute hunt in between it's just to kill some time hopefully we'll get a protocol that'll be pretty cool like at the start I think I ended up with like four protocols maybe I'm pretty sure four, I think I caught about four of them but I haven't seen them since it was like day two still weird to think that the update that isn't even out that long do you know what I mean I've still a number of gammas to get Got, so I've got Gamma Brooch, I've got Gamma Charm Pactor, and then basically need every other new Gamma. So I knew this was going to be a long video, so bear with me. While we've got that rally in, then we can always nip in and nip back. Might as well get nine and then just search through them and see what's the best. But as you've seen, you can just get secret abilities popping up at any point. So, the whole point of the story is try and get a 7 times 40 in trade <laughs> or a 6 times 40 I say people have free checks if you say them anyone got free checks have a look at their UPs even though they're 5 times they, they will save you time otherwise you need to go through this process from scratch I still haven't got an alpha uh, roaming yet or a gamma Be amazing to see could you imagine like end up hitting one here it'd be ridiculous so we're probably what two three minutes now one thing that you'll notice is see if i go on to my boost the rally rate's still going if it hits nine it actually stops which is good so you're actually not losing out. The timer stops once your boxes are filled. So it is it is pretty good that way. Baruch. I think some of the designs are pretty awesome. So the idea obviously whenever you're hunting is to make sure you're you're still moving. Make sure you're moving on the grass. And but the best thing best thing about this next up this update was the geo hop. Because if I want the now I can just go bang, rally ranch, let's go. Geo hop rally ranch. I can see him and he's on his head, check it, go back to separate, straight into that grass again. Okay, let's see what we got. Two times forty. Four times forty. We've got speed and we've got energy. Perfecto. So what we now do is 
We've got speed and energy on that bad boy. Oh, we've got another one. Okay, those two are trash. So now we've got speed and energy on my fee vein. Which is here, so back to make sure my boxes are back again. I need to be. As you can see, this one, my leader, needs energy and speed and physical attack. This guy now covers energy and speed. Okay, so he doesn't cover the physical attack bit though. Oof. Um, yeah, actually, I'll probably keep. Well, actually, if I can hit energy and speed on it, then because that'll rally quicker. And then I can always put in something else for the physical attack after. Um, let's go to the set route. We go hunting. And again, if you had a 7 times 40 it would just make life a lot easier. But that's the process guys, and then it's just a case of waiting on numbers. So let's go and get a few encounters. So we need to... What could happen though is the melee attack could be the random one and it could end up being 40 and then we've hit, basically. It's just a process of going through. Come on, I'll go again for another two minutes and then we'll go points back. I should have really condensed this video to this one or two. Go to Rally Ranch. Or go to Trade Resort, ask for 7 times 40 and work your way backwards. Save yourself a lot of time. Okay. Let's go for another encounter and then we'll fly back. Here we go. What have you got for me? Trash. Oh, you get another one for me? Trash. So it's now that we're just going through that process that we're trying to get it through and fill the gaps up. So say for example then if I do hit a 6 by 40 or 5 times 40 what we then do is we then go through that process again. So if I was to go here, what have I got here? Feel nimble. So go through that process. So say for example, then comes out like this. 
what you want to do then is what you've hit let's say that's 17 elsewhere then you want to go through that time and time again so if i took him for example so we would do that until you get five and five and so on and then you do it till you get six and say the six is elsewhere you would go through that process every single time but say for example your six didn't hit the way you wanted okay so say for example the 17's there so what will then happen is you'll go through that process time and time again and eventually you'll get the point that you'll hit that lumion and, and that's what you need to do it's just a case of repeating that process time and time again once you then get two say for example like this oh, sorry put that back in so say you then get two exactly like this well then once you get two sixties two times six times forties just keep going keep going and keep going and eventually randomly you'll you'll end up just hitting you know for a seven times forty um but again what you want to do is make sure it's dropping on the right stat so if you're doing your scores you want to make sure it's dropping here where there's no attack because they're a ranged attacker in the fee bind you do it and so on so guys that's the process i can sit and do it in time and time again but obviously you've, you've seen from the video how to go through and how to do it and it's it is a long process um Eventually you will hit that, um, it's a case of timing, but sort your personality out. As you go on, start with the rumours, you'll get better. But if you can guys, go to, go to Trade Resort, get yourself something a bit easier, and then I'll take you through. I hope that explains it. If you're still not sure, drop me a question in the comments section, I'll make sure I'll get back to it and help you. Um, but I'd say eventually what you'll do is you'll hit it exactly the way that you want it, and end up with a Lumion exactly, perfectly the way you do. So for example here, just before we do, Let's say I've got the 640 in with the other one, which is obviously a 440. And then I've got a 440 then, I'll then take that out and then put it back until that's a 5 times 40. Then I'll take a 5 times 40 out and then put it in the 6 times 40 um, and so on. And I'll repeat that process time and time again. Um, so, guys, that's how you do it. Um, it's a long process, as you can see, but at least there's the there's the start of it. It's just a case of repeat, 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 repeat after that. Um, so I hope that helps you guys for the breeding guide. Um, I say it will take a bit of time um, to go through that, and it's just a process of going over and over again. But it's just a case of just going through, repeating, repeating, repeating. Sort your personality out first. In terms of rally moves, whatever move you have, put it on your. Um, so say for example you want a chili chump on Poochroll. Poochroll needs to have an empty move box. Um, put Poochroll as the leader. Put your Himber, sorry, put Himber as your leader, put Poochroll as your assistant. Put, Himber has to have Chili Chomp and Poochroll will have um, an empty slot. Once they breed one, then Poochroll will basically end up with Chili Chomp. So rally moves are a lot easier. If you've already got food, four moves, go to the Coliseum and get it deleted. And that's how simple it is. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that helped. If you're still stuck, um, you know, drop me in the comments section. But from there, guys, it's just repeating that process over and over and over again. But if you can, go get yourself a six or seven times forty out of the trade resort. Use them as your assistant. Work backwards and again keep replacing that leader every single time until you get the the right one. And as you can see, it's just by the process and seeing where the UPs land afterwards. It's just going to be randomized after that, but obviously the 2D free to put three from your leader and three from your assistant, but one random, and that's the process. So, okay, guys, I've been warm, Colin 007. I hope that helps. Keep it country.